Hello, hello. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to uh, Stash Watch episode nine. Can you believe it? Episode nine. Right? Well, I keep saying this every week, really, but um, yeah, I can't believe it's. Wow, time's flying by, isn't it? What can I say? What can I say? So, hope you're doing all right today, everyone. Um, yeah, let me just. Um, I just lost the uh, the chat temporarily. Here it is. There we go. Right. Okay. I tried to do something clever and it didn't work. Typically. <laughs> Hi Luke, how are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Yeah, good to see you. Great you could make it. Um, and hi Scotty, how are you doing? What are you, what are you having for dinner? Anything nice? Uh, hope you're having something uh, interesting. Yeah, call it tea where um, I'm in the north of uh, north of the UK or northwest or wherever anyway. That's what I usually call it. So you know, tea the drink and tea the food. <laughs> and dinner's normally, well normally called dinner like perhaps um, sort of a four o'clock meal maybe or a lunchtime thing. Yeah, so lunch generally would be dinner I guess. Um, yeah, and tea would be well, what other people call dinner? So there we go. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> confusing, maybe confusing, but there we go. Yes, yeah, so you all doing all right? Yeah, good to see you, as I say. Um, you know, we'll notice today I've got like a little an Aldi symbol in the stash watch logo and in the um waiting area or whatever it was, you know, well, the thumbnail, basically. Um, yeah, so I've got lots of new, well, I've got lots of Aldi stuff, basically, and I topped up a bit on Lidl as well, because I remember, um, yeah, a couple of you were saying there was some, you know, um, basically little sort of, you know, what's the word? upmarket branded stuff there to look out for so i did have a, a look and i did see a couple of things so i did get a couple of things as well so yes yeah, so there we go and hi alan how are you doing yeah great to see you <laughs> good to see you yes and all the other chocolate fans as well of course yes <laughs> uh, yeah Ali, you're uh, i mean i think I, you might i might have known this originally alan but i think over time it's left my head and i just noticed the other day that um i think on instagram you referred to as chalky topping aren't you and it was a chalky topping in the um in the Discord chat as well. So yeah, I'd, I'd forgotten that you were the same person. So yes. <laughs> so oh, great days. But yeah, well, unless I've got that wrong, of course. But I think um, when I looked on Instagram, I think it said you were this, that person. So yeah, could be could be wrong. I could have misremembered it. Oh, you know, it's one, been one of those weeks this week. All sorts is going on. Um, yeah, so there we go. You find it strange the UK timings? Yeah, see, so <laughs> how, do how, do how, do how do you mean, Luke? <laughs> Oh dear, but yes, um, yeah, but uh, yeah, well, I hope everyone's doing all right, as I say, so I've got quite a lot today, so I've got lots of um, Aldi and Lidl, got loads of Aldi stuff, tons of it, you know, ridiculous amounts of with you. I also picked up, as I say, some little stuff, so there's going to be a lot of that tonight, I, I hope I can get through it all. i got some extra stuff as well, um, yeah, so just some extra general stuff as well. I, I'm still looking for the um, Poppets assorted bag, they're basically, you know, equivalent of Revels or something, Revelish anyway. Um, yeah, see... <laughs> Ah, I see, Alan. Yeah, I thought, yes, I see. <laughs> Were you attempted to perhaps do your own um, like little sort of um, shenanigans or whatever on um, YouTube or Instagram or whatever? I know, um, yeah, I know. It's quite t the problem is it's it's just hard to keep it going because it's, um, you know, a lot of, some people, you know, do, of course, but it's very difficult to keep, you know, keeping posting, keep, you know, especially when you've got multiple areas and stuff. I find it quite difficult to post on Instagram frequently because I'm just, um, it's just, it's just so much, you know, it's very difficult. Yeah, yeah. I was in Asda today, Scotty, and I couldn't. See, I've seen the other ones they've got, but not the multicolored ones. They just weren't there. They had like a shelf at the end of an aisle with the with the with the new salted caramel ones on or whatever, but they didn't have the um, yeah, they didn't have the uh, you know, the um assort assortment bag. So I know it was somewhere else in the in the in the supermarket. But I did check other places. I couldn't see it. You know, the end of aisles and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. So honestly. But yes, um, yeah, so yeah, there we go. So yes, I've, so by the way, if someone's wondering what that, I've just cut myself shaving this morning. So yeah, that's what that is, by the way. It's not chocolate on my mouth or anything like that. Yeah, it's just one of those. You know, when it happens sometimes, it's just, yeah, pouring everywhere. But So it looks a lot better than it did do anyway, but there we go. <laughs> but yeah, it's not chocolate smeared around my mouth. So yeah, so, well, as I say, hope everyone's doing okay. Um, yeah, let me know where, how the chocolate situation is where you are, because where I am, it's just so hot, especially in my house. I mean, if I went outside, it would be normal, you know, normal-ish. But, uh, but in my house, it just retains the heat so much. It's just so warm, you know, it's, um, yeah. So I'm a bit worried about the live review this weekend because obviously if it's just, if I just can't handle the chocolate, um, you know, so we'll see how that goes. So I might might have to, may, you know, depending on how it goes, but I might have to postpone it. I'm not sure because it's just, just be too hot, you know. And as, as a lot of the UK viewers will know, we don't have um, generally air conditioning in the houses here. So I could stick a, a fan in my face, but then you'd hear all the fan noise and stuff like that. So we'll just have to see what happens, basically. Um, you know, play it by ear, I guess, see what the weather's like. I did have a look and it looks like it's going to cool down on Friday, but then Saturday might be back to normal. But it can change from the drop of a hat in the UK, can't it? So we'll see. Yeah, so um, yeah, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go over the new um, little stuff I got first then, shall we? So I'm going to try and minimal maneuverings of the chocolate tonight. <laughs> Yeah, so there we go. Ah, so Luke and um, yeah, Scott, did you meet each other today? Did you? Oh, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. Yeah, we had a good time. Yeah, so 
Yeah, honestly. So I think Luke must be the only person who knows what Scotty looks like then, I think. Yeah, there's a mystery about that. But um, I don't mind when he was on, he was a Billy Connolly in disguise, but I'm not sure if that is the case. <laughs> I think I think Luke would have said that by now. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah, so the first one we got then. Um, yeah, see, so, oh. All right, okay. All right, I see what you're saying, yeah, Luke. Yeah, I see what you're saying, yes, yeah. <laughs> and I think it's one of those, isn't it? Yeah, as, yeah, as you say, I think... Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, know, I do know what you mean. It can be a bit like that, can't it, sometimes? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, just went, what the greetings use and things like this. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> then the tea, the tea part of it comes even, makes it even worse, I guess. <laughs> or dinner or whatever. But yeah, so I got, um, so I did find some JD Gross or Gross, um, basically Lidl's, I think that's Lidl anyway, I assume it is, because, um, yeah, it must be. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, they're sort of upmarket brand. I'm, I'm not sure what to make of the upmarket brand. So, I mean, you know, I've heard good things about them. Um, but does that defeat the point of those shops? You know, uh, to me, it kind of feels like it does in a way. Um, so we were talking to someone in the comments, and Steve in the comments um, was talking about how the fact that, he, he, you know, he's um, someone very, very sort of um, particular with his chocolates and things and doesn't spend, um, you know, money where he doesn't have to. And I kind of half got the impression that he might be of that opinion as well, where it's just perhaps, you know, miss, you know, defeating the object of that shop. But I guess they do have the upmarket stuff, um, just be, just to have it, really. Or, um, you know, not, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It does seem to sort of match a trend. I think it seems to be quite similar to Asda and Morrison's and Tesco. They have their own sort of own brand, higher-end chocolate, don't they? You know, they're usually in those thin rectangular slabs. So I think it's all that kind of thing, really. Um and you do seem to follow a similar pattern, you have similar flavours and stuff like that. So they're sort of things I'm have to look into. So yeah, so the first one, JD Gross, yes, so gross. Um, orange and almond, this one, yeah, so 56% cocoa. So there we go, yeah, fair trade, of course. Yes, this is the uh, one I did go back into a little. So I didn't have that many, I, I think um, there might be some, you know, there might be more in there than um, basically that the was available in the store that I went to. There might be more that just, you know, come in randomly. But uh, hey, B, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, good to see you, good to see you. Yeah, great, you could make it. Yeah, great, you could make it. I wanted to say something to you, actually, and I can't think what it was now. We were talking about something before earlier today, weren't we? But I forgot what it was now. My memory's just going terrible. <laughs> oh, never mind. Um, it'll come to me, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, so Orange and Almond, there we go. So, yeah, so an interesting one. I think I'm quite excited about this one. Um, and we could say that, you know, they're jumping on the orange bandwagon, but to be honest with you, I think um, all these sort of brands have had an orange-flavoured chocolate for quite some time. It's not... Um, yeah, I've seen Asda had one for ages. Um, Linton had one in their sort of... You know, yeah, it does look a bit linty actually, doesn't it? It seems to have the same, I don't know, yeah. I think it's just the foil and stuff like that. Well, not the foil, but the, the shininess to it, the metallic finish, yeah. But, um, yeah, <laughs> certainly not Billy Connolly. <laughs> well, who was my other theory? Who was my other one? I can't think. Uh, yeah, Billy Connolly, I'm not sure. Ali McCoy it might have been, yeah. <laughs> there we go, yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, that was right. Yes, that was right. Yes, that's it. That's it. Yes, it was the um, the Maryland uh, biscuits. Yeah, so I've got the um, yeah I've got the mint ones um, basically to hand, and I was thinking, you know, um, because basically uh, it's, it's quite hot at the moment and uh, it's going to be difficult, so I might be doing them sooner rather than later, basically. So yeah, so I'm hoping to get them done soon. The two mint ones, I've still got them. They're just over there, actually. Um, yeah, so I need to get them done, basically. Um, yeah, so you know, fingers crossed at some point. <laughs> But yeah, that football, yeah, that was really good. They could have made such a bigger effort for that. Made it white patches in it, white chocolate and stuff, and certainly be cheaper. And the competition was over as well, so it was a joke, really. Yeah, Ali McCoy's Lee. <laughs> Somebody tells me perhaps he isn't Ali McCoy's Steven, but yeah. <laughs> ah, see, so you never know. Could be. Could be here in disguise. Yeah, was he wearing a disguise by any chance? Um, <laughs> oh, and hi, QP. Good to see you. Glad you could make it. It's been a while, I think. I've not, well, seen you in the Discord chat, of course, but... Um, been a while since, well, since you were at the start, and I think you popped in at the end of one. So it's good to see you. Hope you're doing all right. Yeah, the mint ones. I think, yeah, as, as, just, as I said in the review, AB, and I think you said to me, said in the comments before I did the reviews, actually, the, 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 the orange was just non-existent, wasn't it? It was just ridiculous, really. I can't believe, you know, the one was called Chock Full of Orange, and, it, 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 you know, it, as I think I said in the review, it could, it, should, it could literally be called Chock Full of Raspberry for all the orange that was in it, you know? <laughs> um, ridiculous, that, yeah. So I don't know what was going on there. So I, I, I originally... Because it tasted quite nice, I, I gave it a three and a half out of five. Um, but you know, in, in when I was doing the review, when I was do, doing all the editing, I thought I can't give I can't give something that's called chock full of orange a three and a half out of five that doesn't have any orange taste in it. Um, <laughs> so a bit of a yeah. So there we go. <clears throat> but yeah, honestly. 
But yeah, hope everyone's doing okay. Hope you're doing all right, QP, by the way. Hope everyone's okay with you. And uh, yeah. And how's the pub, Alan, by the way? Is it going well? I you never quite said before if it's your own pub or not, but I hope it's going well, whether it's yours or not. I hope um, there's lots of custom and stuff. I know for people, perhaps. Well, it'd be good, actually, won't it? It's just the right time, actually. So fingers crossed because of the Euros. I don't know when Scotland are playing, but. Um, Let's see, it's probably, well, probably this weekend or probably Sunday or Monday, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, so I did my draw with my family, and we did like we got a family sweepstake going. Um, and basically, I did I, I was one doing the draws and I did it relatively cleverly. So, um, basically, you'd have the, the seed, the, the seeds of each group were done. Um, essentially, four there's four pools of seeds basically. Um, so what we did was you'd have an opposite. So if you got a tier one team, you'd have a tier four as well, because it's two teams each. And basically, I knew, and then they were on the opposite sides of the draw as well, you know, to to an extent anyway. And I basically ended up with um, Italy, but I also got Hungary as well. So Hungary are, are doomed, I think, is it just to be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm glad you're doing well, QP. I'm glad you're doing well. It's really good to hear. <laughs> Hope you're having a nice evening, enjoying the weather as well. Very hot. It's been really hot in this house, I tell you, honestly, especially the lights on as well. Um. Ah, I see. Ah, well, glad. Yes, well, glad it's always busy. That's a good sign, Alan. Yes, glad it's a good sign. Yeah, see, I don't. Well, I must. I must admit, I don't know Graham. Yeah, is that? I guess that a brewery of some kind. I'm not really. You know, I'm not overly familiar with. Uh, <laughs> but I'm glad you're doing well, Eva. I'm glad it's going well, and I'm glad you're doing well with it as well. So always good. Always good. <laughs> I think it's a good time as I say with the football coming out. So you know, yeah, it's a great time. I'm sure, you'll be even more busy. Standing room only, I imagine. If that. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. I might have known you'd have all the times, Luke. Yes. <laughs> Obviously. Has Scotland got any standout players, then? you have to let me know. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Salty Camel says the other one. So, got to, yeah, so basically, you know, it's it's ticking the boxes, isn't it? I think they've got the typical ones. They've got the sort of high... 70% cocoa as well. They've got the high cocoa ones, the milk chocolates. I didn't get just the plain milk chocolate and the plain dark chocolates and things like this. I just thought there's, there's so many... You know, there's only so... Well, there's so many products to get through, and I thought... Um, you know, there's probably not much interest in reviewing us. I think more of the special ones would be interesting, I think. And obviously, you know, if these are quite nice and things like this, then almost by default, the, the regular ones would be quite nice as well that aren't flavoured and stuff like that. So, you know, yeah. So that's nice. So it's salty caramel, orange and almond. Orange and almond's an odd um, combination, isn't it? I'm not, I've seen that one elsewhere as well. There was another company that did orange and almond. I think it was actually um, Aldi's version. I think they did um, orange and almond as well. I don't think I've seen orange and almond elsewhere. Um... Now, okay, yes, I'm not. I'm not much of a yeah. I, you know, yeah. I don't drink too much, to be honest with you. You know, I just don't. I've never, I've never got the the taste bit really. I did when I was younger, but um, as I got older, I, I'm just quite happy with it. I'm daft enough as it is, basically, is the gist of it. So <laughs> I must admit, I don't drink too much. I drink, you know, as I say, yeah. So there we go. Don't, you know, yeah. I, I daft enough as it is. So, but glad it well. So yeah, got the AB seal of approval there. So that's always good. <laughs> oh dear. Like, yeah, I'd say you could always do an Aberdeen meet, you know, maybe one day, you know, don't know if I could be there as well at some point, but, you know, yeah. So, raspberry, yes, dark chocolate. Yeah, so the other ones, um, this one specifically says dark chocolate, and raspberry, of course, definitely would go well with dark chocolate, I think. Looks very nice as well, got the odd raspberry floating around, as you can see. Made with the finest cocoa beans, it says as well, J.D. Gross, yeah, or gross. Is it gross or gross? I think it's probably gross, isn't it? But, um, hmm. Got the thing with the bark that goes all the way around the edge as well, and the little, the little seal there. It looks, uh, this one does look very nice, as I say. And this one specifically says dark chocolate, 70%. The other two don't actually say that, although I'm sure, well, they're, like, well are they dark chocolate? Maybe they're not. Um, but it does say dark chocolate. Yeah, it does say dark chocolate on the back. And one of them does seem to have milk in it, though, but yeah. So these are dark chocolate as well. Uh, dark chocolate with... 15% crunchy camel pieces. Dark chocolate, 6% almond pieces in candied orange peel. Mm. And candied orange peel. So they are dark chocolate, so I don't know why that one specifically says dark chocolate on it, which is strange, but uh, there we go. Yeah. So. Ah, okay, I see. <laughs> yes, yeah, we're totally, I see. Honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, well, basically, um, you, you know, there was a thing that was basically one by one of my relatives sort of ended up with um, Scotland and Ukraine, essentially. So, but he didn't really want Scotland is the long and short of it. Is uh, <laughs> obviously the thing is um, Ukraine were the highest with the sort of the, the, I would you probably would say the most disappointing of the top seeded teams to get out of the draw. Cause, and then, 
yeah, um, so that's the one he got, and then he got the, and he w- didn't want Scotland, and he got Scotland, so he wasn't very happy with that. <laughs> no, not that I'm against him or anything like that, but I think, um, yeah, I think it's because, of course, he didn't want us to be, because he supports England, so he didn't want to be supporting Scotland when he played them, I have a vested interest, I think that was the gist of it, so yeah. <laughs> and hi, Joe, how are you doing? Glad you could make it. Great to see you. Yeah, lovely to see you. Yes, hope you're doing all right, and uh, yeah, you're still at work today. We've just basically just been through the, uh, I got three extra little products, is the gist of it. These JD Gross ones, I think, um, yeah, it's been touted as being quite good, and I didn't get them last time, so I've got them now. So this will probably be in the little part three, as well as some other things. Um, yeah, so the part, the different parts, basically, normally I'd probably go through all the typical marathons, you know, well, Snickers, Mars, and Twix, and stuff like that, on the first part of each one. But just because it's, I mean, they are quite similar, but they are different as well. It's worth, I think it's worth checking them out. I know they can be quite repetitive, maybe, but... It's interesting to see the difference, and there has been differences, um, you know. So yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that's a little. So I've got loads of. Um, we'll do. Well, we'll do the uh, Aldi stuff. I think. Um, just think. I've got quite a few of the other things as well. So I did get. Um, what did I get? So I got some random stuff. Now they do seem to do different. I don't know if it's product lines is the right word, but sort of branded stuff. So I think you have like three different brands at uh, Aldi. I think maybe in maybe in Lidl as well, to be honest with you. And they have a sort of their own sort of value range, which you don't really get anymore. Um, um, you know, in most supermarkets, because they replace them with having a posh, fancy name, haven't they? Like, I don't know, um, Mary Jane's Farms Cocoa or something like that, or whatever it is, you know. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah honestly. Yes, yeah, so it's one of those. I must admit, Scotty, I'm the same. My football knowledge isn't great either. Yeah. <laughs> my sideburns are bigger than your future. <laughs> Honestly, my, my side, I used to, when I was younger, um, they used to be massive. I used to just have my, basically, you couldn't see my ears um, when I was younger. I've got a photo somewhere. You just, they came down to about here. Um, and you just, you know, yeah, just ridiculous. And my hair was really long as well. So, yeah. <laughs> it used to look like, um, basically, some out of Oasis or something like that. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so we got um, so we have got sort of uh, yeah, got a, I didn't get the white chocolate one because it wasn't there, I don't think. But I did get these Aldi essential ones, um, so dark chocolate and milk chocolate. So they're very basic. I mean, this is kind of what the Tesco ones looked like a few years back, or ASDA maybe. But they don't seem to do that well. I think they might still do them actually in ASDA, but I think they've generally, I don't know. I think they've kind of, well, I think they've kind of introduced. I've in between a range of chocolate that has like the Miss Molly one or whatever, and they still do the basic ones, or um, or they've just replaced them with the Miss Molly ones completely. I'm not too sure. I think Asda might still do a basic range very similar to this, but you can clearly see it's very, uh, you know, they've not gone out all out of the wrapping at all. But the chocolate, I'm sure, will probably still be fine. Really, you know, yeah, pretty hard to imagine it be that bad. Um, yeah, so <laughs> Scotty sides. Scotty Side, has he got bigger sideburns as well, has he? I see, I see. I thought the picture he had in um, in the Discord chat was actually his picture for a long time, you know, and um, I guess it wasn't, I don't know who it was then, but... <laughs> it was it, Scotty, was it Was it someone, or was it... <laughs> Honestly. But uh, yeah, so there we go, so you got the basic stuff there, so that's an Aldi one, obviously, probably not very exciting, but something worth trying out, you know what I mean, so there we go. Um, yeah... Yeah, yeah, a bit, yeah, not the best, um, yeah, I know, I know what you mean, Scott, it does look a bit bounty doesn't it, that, yeah, but, uh, hmm, got the Rainforest Alliance on it, though, so, for what that's worth, there we go, yeah, not too bad, so I've got these as well, um, I'll just grab what I can, really, they're all kind of piled up, so, i got these things here, a bit like, um, these, probably a bit like knockoff, um, buenos, I guess, really, um, Double chocolate and hazelnut. So the double chocolate one I'm quite interested in. I didn't see a white chocolate one. But obviously these are sort of the regular ones. Spirals. Dairy Fine. So that's the other brand they do. That's like the sort of middling brand. It seems to be quite nice actually, Dairy Fine. I wish the logo was a bit better. But um, so it does have Aldi on the back. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't you, was it? Right, I never, I, I didn't know it wasn't you. I thought it was you. You know, I just thought that was that was you really. Yeah, so. <laughs> Honestly. So there we go, yeah, so hazel one looks very interesting, seven bars, so that's basically, yeah, as I say, um, yeah, essentially a knockoff um, bueno, so, you know, there we are, but they do have this, uh, I'll say this other one, double chocolate, which I am interested in, I didn't see a white chocolate one, they might do one, but um, yeah, that looks very interesting, yeah, tried the coconut one, I didn't see that, Scotty, yeah, I'd, um, I got quite a lot of stuff, and I, I did notice there were gaps in some of the stock, you know, you could tell there was one there that they didn't have, 
stuff like that, you know, I can't remember how I could tell that, but you know what I mean, yeah, so. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at, Luke? The fact that I thought the other guy, whoever it was, was Scotty, yeah, see what I did? If he was so, I don't know who it was, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, but um, yeah. <laughs> So I guess so some interest so there's lots of knockoff I didn't actually realise those were knockoff products either the uh that they were buenos until now really. Yeah, so there we go. Oh I see okay, I've no idea who that is. I'm not saying that just in case um yeah YouTube demonetizes me or whatever, but <laughs> Okay, I see. Right. <laughs> Could well have been, who knows, but yeah, you know. <laughs> Honestly, well I thought he was Scotty. I I I I didn't know, yeah. <laughs> Honest to God. Honest to goodness. Yeah, so, yeah, so there we go. We've been watching lots of um, Limmy sketches recently as well. They are quite funny, those. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen any of them, but probably maybe slightly dated now, but I still enjoy them. Um, I think he does some streaming on Twitch, actually. Yeah, so quite interesting. Um, I think about playing games, but maybe with some comedy. Yeah, so I've got, some, got a load of random stuff here. i got these as well. I've no idea all the flavours, but I only saw these ones. Basically, knock off their... Uh, Wagon wheels, <laughs> quite a good name. Cartwheels, of course. Um, why not? And this well, must be another brand new. I think these. I think they're biscuit brand. One of them is Belmont, I guess. And it looks a bit like McVitie's, doesn't it? With that wheat sheaf. You know, I, I, yeah, very dodgy the way they uh, <laughs> do all this. But there we go. So this is the jam version of. Um, I still need to do the regular version of um, wagon wheels as well. So I might try and do those first. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a fan of wagon wheels then. I know I kind of slated them a bit, you know. I find that they're just like a, not, they, know, they don't quite deliver as well as they should do. I kind of feel like tea cakes are better. I feel like the ratios are better in just proper tea cakes, you know. Um, yeah. Oh, you got to go wherever you Joe. Oh, see. Oh, don't worry, Joe. No problem at all. I know it's early where you are. I know you're still at work and things. So, yeah, so don't worry at all. No problem. <laughs> but, yeah, Friday, Saturday. Well, Friday this week will just be a look back. Saturday should be on, but it might be too warm for it, you know, because if it's too warm in the house, the chocolate will just melt. I can't really review it. So I'll, I'll play it by you. I'll put a notice up or something like that, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is it, Scotty. They're quite flat. But I just find it's too much biscuit. You know, I just find they're not quite as... They're just the ratios for me don't work as well as a, as a tea cake. Um, yeah, I, suppose, I think, you know, when you had the orange one, there was hardly any orange, or the orange wagon wheel, there was hardly any orange uh, filling in either, which was really disappointing. So I was very un unhappy with that. I know, um, obviously, normally don't have any filling in at all. Uh, but obviously, I'm expecting the jam one to be of a similar problem. So, yeah, yeah. Um, are these cartwheels? Well, they feel about the same size, AB, to be honest with you. Um, I have not to hand, but I do have... Wagon wheels. Um, I think I'll just see if I'll just see if I can see them. Ooh. Yeah, I do have them. I just won't be a second. They're just over here. Have a look, I think. Yeah, so let's have a see. Yeah, so here's the regular ones. <laughs> uh, they usually are quite similar size. The knockoff stuff. There's the other one. So you can see that. Must be quite the same, and the weightage. It's got the same weight as well, so I noticed that with the um, the big the big taste knockoffs as well. They have the same weight. I don't know if you can see that. Two hundred twenty-eight. Two hundred twenty-eight. I don't know if you can see both of those there. So exactly the same weight overall. So I'm assuming. Uh, I mean, I'm quite certain that will mean that the individual ones are the same. <laughs> um, but I can't easily see. The individual sizes, but yeah, I'm quite. I mean, you know, yeah, the six, the six in each. Um, so they must weigh. Well, they must weigh the same. So they? <laughs> they're just random, random sizes. But yeah, so yeah, so it must be size. So although I don't really mean they do. I think they sort of look a bit more rectangular. The uh, original wagon wheels. I think they're just packaged a bit. Well, it's the flourishes actually, Alan. I think the flourishes, at least in this case, are sticking out a bit. So there we go. So that's probably. Uh, <laughs> You can see, uh, yeah, you can see that one in the, you know, on the right as you look, is sticking out more. So, and then on even on the left. So it's again, it's that sort of thing, isn't it? Mm. So there we go. Yeah, I think just the wrapping in general is just a bit tighter on the cartridges. So there we go. So we go flourishes. You see, yeah. <laughs> You yeah, might have said Alan A B I meant by the way if I said Alan. But both of you, of course, you both ears. Yes, everyone. <laughs> yeah, A B, sorry, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it's a funny one, that, though, isn't it? It does go to show that, you know, if the, if the wrapping is done in a certain way, even though this, you would argue, is not very dissimilar, it still does look a bit like the wagon wheels were a bit bigger. Um, yeah. I would have thought it would say how big each individual one. No, there we go, yeah. So, per wheel, approx. 38 grams per wheel. I'm assuming it'll say the same. In fact, it doesn't say that on the other one. Um, on the regular ones, it doesn't actually say the same in the calories. Mm. But yeah, as I say, I think we can we can quite uh, safely assume that they do weigh the same. <laughs> yes, there we go. Put those to one side a bit somewhere. Find room. <laughs> Fat tea cake, yes. Well, to be honest with you, as like I say, I think it's just the wrap, the packaging. I think, as I say, I think it's just it wraps slightly differently and a bit less. Um, you can just see, I don't know, if you can just see on the wagon wheels, it's just a bit more. I don't know, it's just, just I don't know, it's just something about it. It's just a bit more um, flat, a bit straight, less, less scrunched up a bit. You can see the scrunches here and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it's just, I think it just makes the difference really when you look at it. You know, and on the front as well, if you look at it from the front. You know, it just looks it just looks more rectangular, you know. I know I'm obviously holding it in a way that might affect that, but yeah, I just have to take my word for it. <laughs> I can't really hold it uh, in any other way, even though I hold it like that. You know what I mean? It just looks a bit scrunched. It, it sort of moves about a bit more, whereas these ones are just a bit more solid, you know. I can move it up and down, but it stays quite flat and hold it like that. Whereas the cartwheels ones kind of are just a bit more floppy. You can see this bends a bit, so... Mm. Oh! <laughs> yeah, so, or it could just be, you know, I don't know, anything. <laughs> so, yeah, but that seems to be the thing, so yeah, so there we go. Plans for the channel, I see. Well, just, what's well, to be honest with you, Luke, it's just um, going to be quite the same, really. I mean, obviously, I'm doing some new things. I'm doing look-back features now, more live stuff. Um, I think you just got to see how, the, how it progresses, really. I mean, I've got... Um, almost 50% more subscribers in a year. I've been going for six years now, six years, five years. Um, and I've got 50% more subscribers in the past year, pretty much. So it's, um, yeah, so it's, it just depends on how, what, if it keeps increasing like that, really, and what happens, you know, if it takes off or whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to know what how else to, I mean, I could just start doing what other channels do, really, but I don't think there's much point in that, you know, just the way they review things. Um, I think people can watch them to get that content. I think I think mine's a bit, you know, hard to say really. We just have to see what happens, you know. Yeah. I think ideally, you know, as I say, I think it's just all it's all percentages, basically, the way YouTube generally works. So, you know, you'll have so many subscribers, and so many of them, so many percent of them will actually watch regularly, and so many of them will actually partake in the lives, and uh, and so many of them will be members and stuff like that. So, you know, so basically you have, you know, say a thousand subscribers. So between 10 and 15 percent will kind of regularly watch the videos um, and maybe sort of, you know, and then maybe sort of, you know, I don't know, let's say three or six percent or one percent, something like that will do other parts of it, you know, things like this. So that's that's kind of the way it is. So, yeah. So basically, if you look at any YouTube channel, it's somewhere like a million subscribers. If you watch any of their live videos, they'll have like about five, five or six thousand people watching their lives. They'll have a million people watching. I mean, it could depend who it is, of course, you know, but um, obviously if it's a celebrity. But generally, you know, so they'll just have a sort of, it'll be a small percentage, really, of what goes on, you know, so it's, it's just percentages. So essentially, when I get to say... 3,000 subscribers, you know, pretty much double what I've got now, and if it's like not quite, but, um, you know, hopefully there'll be double the people chatting, double the members, double this, you know, so it's that kind of thing, I guess. Could be, you know, it might not always work out that way, and then just have to see how it goes, really. That's the gist of it. But, of course, you know, technically, my efforts for the channel won't have to increase, technically, but I'd like to obviously keep things fresh and stuff like that. I'm not implying I wouldn't, but um, obviously, you know, technically... The effort I put in is the same whether I've got a thousand or a million subscribers, gen technically. But obviously, you know, the returns would be different and it might enable me to do more things and, you know, might, might you know enable me to spend more time that I otherwise wouldn't, depending on how it goes. So, yeah, so it's a difficult one, difficult one. Yeah. Well, this is it. Yeah, it's just it's just difficult to do it all, really. You know, um, yeah, difficult to do. You know, it could do, really. Yeah, it could do. It's just one of those... 
it's just sort of trying to keep it all in one place is the gist of it. Because if you start, that's the other thing, if you start filtering it out, if I did some videos on Twitch, if I did some podcasts, you know, you, you then sort of, you, get, you you might introduce a new crowd, but you might lose half the crowd you've got. So it's hard to know what to do, really. Um, like, for instance, Instagram, I could spend more time on that or even TikTok, you know, trying to do that sort of thing. But then it's different age groups and areas and different demographics. That could be a good idea. But whether my content would be useful for that, you know, and it's it's more time to dedicate elsewhere. And is it worth it? You know, stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, hard, hard to know what to do. Hard to know what to do. Yes, uh, freezing. Yeah, you did mention about the cake bars freezing, AB. I was considering trying that because I did get some to review, actually. Um, yeah, long story short is I didn't do it um, because I thought, well, I need to review them unfrozen, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, they are different. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know, it's um, it's just a different thing to do. And you, obviously, that's what I mean. So you're then splitting up what you're doing. So you're attracting either new people or or a, p a percentage of the people you've already got. So, for instance, if only you listen to, po well, say, let's say 40% of the people here listen to podcasts, um, will 40% go over to there, you know what I mean? And then, so it's it's like that, is it, you know, so you can attract a new crowd, Um but then I don't know, you know, it's hard to know because if you if you got if you get more subscribers as well, you can just chat generally more because there's more people to talk to, more people asking you questions. Um, whereas at the moment, you know, perhaps I don't have enough sort of, you know, just people um, to ask me lots of different things. Yeah, well, maybe I do. I don't know. You see, it's just one of those. It's just when it's just you've got to kind of reach a critical point, I think, to make things viable, essentially. Um but yeah, but yeah, like Scotty says, you know, YouTube is where I kind of started. It's where all my videos are, where people are most likely to find me. Um, so it makes more sense to st stick to that for now. But yeah, I think as, as a point, so if I can, if I get so many follow subscribers and I can say, right, I'm going to do a podcast, knowing that there are a dedicated percentage of those subscribers. Um, like I said, like, like um, everyone who's here now, you see, you're sort of my dedicated crew, really. Yeah, you know, you're the people that sort of, you know, I interact with the most. Um, in, you know, put in the most to the channel, you know, and stuff like that. So obviously, um, you know, it's great that really. Um, but I don't know how many of you, you know, for instance, you know, so it, it would be difficult. I'd have to know really how much of you would then go over to the podcast and stuff like that. You know, it could only be you, Luke, you see. And there's nothing wrong with that, of course. But it's just, you know, I'm I'm struggling to fit all the YouTube stuff in as it is. <laughs> so I need to know for sure that um, if I'm sacrificing some YouTube content, it would be worth doing. And maybe it would be, but you'd have to, I'd have to kind of be starting again almost, or maybe, you know, so I don't know. Um, but it's something to keep in mind, though. It's like you're saying, because it's a different avenue, and I'm trying different things. Um, yeah, so I would, I would, you know, I think at the moment I'm just going to sort of continue on sort of with how I'm doing. But as I say, when I get more subscribers and things, I can do more things, um, you know, and um, dedicate more things to certain things, knowing that it will have it will it'll have a sort of more of a, um, a springboard to start with rather than starting from scratch, if that makes sense. Yeah, so you know what I mean. So, but you're right, I, don't, I wouldn't like to sort of stagnate, I'd like to keep doing different things. That's kind of what I'm doing with the, as I say, the look back videos, the live videos, like I say, um, like I'm doing in the, the tier lists and things like that. So I'm doing a few different things and hopefully we'll continue to sort of look at different stuff and things like that as well. So yeah, I know some people are doing like shorts. I think I think YouTube's trying or assume there's been some initiative by YouTube to try and get some short videos out there, you know. So you see some people with the hashtag shorts going in there and doing some videos now that are like a minute long. And I'm assuming YouTube promotes these in some ways. It's probably to try and get the, you know, get in on TikTok really as such. So there is the chance of doing that. But I generally, you know, don't do short videos, as you know. <laughs> but it could be something I could try and do. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's an avenue, isn't it? It's a possibility. So, yeah. Um, maybe it's something I could do that way. And as I say, if it's, it could be another avenue where, because I've got so, so much chocolate to review, I just do short ones. I say, right, okay, I can't fit all these in. Let's just do a, you know, a one minute review of it. <laughs> could be the way forward, you know, could be the way forward. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting one. But yeah, do keep on coming up with suggestions and things. As I say, because I wouldn't rule, I'm not ruling anything out, and definitely not. And uh, if there is a, if there is a, if, you know, if the podcast would be good to do, I did consider doing that, you know, just chatting with people and things like this. Um, I don't know how different it would be to do a podcast, whether you could just, you know, but the thing is with Discord as well, you can have Discord chats. So I have the Discord channel. There are, it has actually, I think I've disabled them in um, the thing, but you can actually have just chats in Discord as well. So technically, 
you know, I could be, I could have chats with the members, you know, or people who are in Discord. We, I could arrange that, and we could do that, and that could either be the podcast, or be on YouTube, or whatever. It could be something we can do, you know. Um, but not, I've not really thought about that. I've just come up with it off the top of my head now. So you know what I mean? Those things are kind of possible. It could be quite interesting. It could be something to do. Yeah. So yeah, you know, there are definitely avenues. Do more members content as well, stuff like that. You know, you can do, you can just do sort of, you know, members only things and stuff like that. So I could start looking into do more member type things could start trying to do more promoting of the you know trying sort of uh, this is something i've been thinking about um kind of going into a bit of the um june update really here with these sort of things but um, maybe just a sneak for it um things like um you know sort of the thresholds is the right word but goals to achieve so if i get so many members i can do this or you know i don't know how to i don't know what i could do really or like so many super chats you know, I could do this, try and encourage people to do these kind of things, um, you know, and just to try and make it worthwhile and make it count for something, maybe, I'm not sure, and obviously, you know, existing things will count towards those things as well if they happen now, so obviously not to deter people from doing them now, um, you know, so stuff like that, really, so I'm just trying to think, well, I don't know what I could really do to reward it, you know what I mean, and I've got to obviously be realistic about it, so, yeah, so it's an interesting one, obviously, if you do come up with any ideas and things like that, but yeah, I was thinking, like, you know, 10 members, I can do this, maybe, 20 super chats I can do this I mean might be more super chats than that really because you know they are a lot easier to do than mem uh, members but you know this is that you know just things like this really so I'm just considering what um yeah there could be things like that so I definitely have things I want to do um I've just got to kind of yeah I just got to weigh it up and um see which bits of which bits are, are, are good ideas to pursue which complement the channel really and stuff like that um yeah, and of course the problem is I, you know, I work full time as well. So, you know, if one day I could retire from my real work and just continue with this, maybe <laughs> then I could do. I have loads of time to do all sorts, but uh, I think it will take um, quite a long time before I'm in that position to be able to do that. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah. So you know, and there's still there's still probably only a limited number of chocolate I could eat today as well. <laughs> but maybe I could get you know more and more fancy chocolate. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Honestly. <laughs> chicken curry pie and one of the ruby chocolates I see <laughs> pie cream I see <laughs> well you know there's worse there's stranger things isn't there stranger things you know maybe well maybe the chicken curry part maybe that might be a bit too much but you know an ice cream pie would be quite nice <laughs> yeah so I've got some Mosseroff stuff then uh, Mosseroff Mosseroff Moseroff I'm not sure how you pronounce it but that's um, from that's kind of this is, seems to be um, Aldi's Upper upper tier range, um, yeah. It's been funny to tell Scotty actually because they were in the old in, in the old days. Well, like in, I don't know Georgian era or something. Things like apple sauce and stuff was a mixture of. We take it for sort of as normal now. Like apple sauce is relatively normal cranberry sauce. But I think at the time they were seen as like really mixing sweet stuff with savoury stuff. You know, which it technically is. Um, so yeah, it is. You know, so those things do happen, and we do. We are used to those now. I'm not. I'm not technically sure if. Um, Chicken curry and ice cream will <laughs> take off, <laughs> but uh, yeah, could be could be one, you know. That could be another series trying crazy concoctions as well. But yeah, here we go. So they got the white chocolate one. Yes, mousse au chocolat. Yeah, mousse are off. So it does look very nice. I'd say it does look a bit. Um, yeah, but it's very got a nice cardboard feel to it. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's an interesting one. If you can see that right in there, extra fine white chocolate. Yeah. Hmm. Combines, uh, yes, perfectly with a, a lightly whipped creamy mousse filling. Well, lightly whipped with creamy filling, well, you know, we'll see. Uh, hints of almonds. So it sounds like it might be a bit like um, a bit like Lindor then, really, doesn't it? And if you can see on the front, actually, you can see it does have a sort of separate sensor. So I wonder if it's a bit like the sort of Lindor bars type thing. I'm not sure. Might not be, of course. But yeah, so we'll see. Hmm, we'll see. I don't know, as I say, someone like Steve in the comments was talking about, you know, is it, well, hinted at, and I, sort of, you know, I, I took it that he was kind of saying it might not have been, that, you know, is it, are these too expensive for, like, what they're trying to be, you know, like um, Aldi and Lidl, you know, so. But they're all very nice. Hmm. Oh, ice cream is the dessert. Okay, I thought you said eat them at the same time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, I thought you were saying, I mean, a chicken chicken curry and ice cream pie, basically, is what I was thinking you were saying, but yeah. <laughs> Here we go, this one I think does look a bit, I think it does, I don't know, this one to me doesn't look that great, actually, I have to say, um, and it is a truffle one as well, so, um, you know, I'm a bit, uh, a bit worried about this one. 
Um, I don't know. It's just something about it. It just doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't. It this one doesn't strike me as being. I mean, I used to love truffly type centers, but I've just had them so much recently. You know, um, I don't know. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't think. I don't know. It just doesn't look very nice either, does it? I think it's that center as well. I think it's just too highlighted. It does look very milky as well. It looks a milky uh, milk chocolate that one as well. So yeah. Hi Mark, how are you doing? Good to see you, glad you could make it. <laughs> we're just going over, it's this various products, but we've just gone over some Lidl and um, some Aldi products now as well. Yeah, so just going over there, Mosa Roth, Mosa Roth, Roth. Um, that, yeah, their, their range of stuff, their up, up market range. Basically looks a bit like it's um, possibly, oh, hang on. Oh, I've got two of the same here. What have I done here? I made a mistake. I got two of the same. I don't know how I did this. <laughs> I think I meant to get two different ones, but I've somehow got two of the same. Um, oh well, one extra. <laughs> but I won't get one free on this. But this one's very nice. This this one I'm looking uh, looking forward to. Um, yeah, this one does look very nice, doesn't it, Mark? I do I do agree with that there for sure. Yeah, mousse au chocolat. So yes, that one does look nice. I must say. Um, still has the sort of it says mousse. You know, I think it's pretty much truffle really. Rich dark, eighty five percent chocolate. Combines perfectly with a lightly whipped chocolate mousse and fruity orange flavour filling to create an unforgettable taste sensation. Yeah, this one, I think this one I am very excited for. I hope it's nice. It looks nice. Very strong, 85% dark chocolate. Yeah, so that's what it says on the back. Um, yeah, so it could be doing it this weekend, possibly, I think. Yeah, because it's, um, yeah, I'll say, if you don't know anyone, by the way, if you, did, I put some, you probably do know, but I do post polls for the um, live chat, uh, live reviews now to see what people want to do. So if you've missed that out, you might want to click the uh, the bell um, option on the um, on my homepage of the channel. Um, basically, yeah, just check out the content. I think you'll, if, you, if you go to the Communities tab, I think it's called, um, you can see the polls there. So, yeah, yeah. Chili Dark Chocolate is discontinued. Yeah, is that the one someone mentioned? Um, did I see it? And did I get this one by accident? In fact, you know what? I have another stash. I'm not the same stash. Ah, I've got another stash, AB. You've read a... <laughs> there you go. Look, this is more more of... Um, these are sort of just slabs of chocolate now. So there's a couple on here. There's a couple of them. So it's a bit similar to the um, JD Gross range, I think. But a bit bigger, actually. Um, the weightage... Is there a weight? Oh, they're individually wrapped bars, these ones, actually. These are actually bars. It says um, five wrapped bars at the bottom. I thought it's like a slab of chocolate, so there we go. Amounts per bar. You could buy them. Annoyingly, you could buy a bar separately, but um, or buy them in packs of bars, but it was stupid. It was They were like all together, so... Which I've only just realised is ridiculous. So basically, we're selling... Um, I think it probably was five packs, five bars of these. And I thought that's quite nice, mini ones, you know, I'll get the mini ones cause, and then there'll be a group of five or five different ones because I don't really want the whole thing. But then it was, um, but yeah, it was basically the same as this. It was five individually wrapped ones, but just rather than this cardboard, they're in like a little block. Um, they're like one of those Ritter collections. And what's the point of that then? That's very stupid. I thought um, I thought it was going to be an assorted pack so you could get, you know, as I say, five different ones. And I thought that'd be brilliant, you know. Um, yeah, it made, made no sense to that. Hmm. Well, if it is discontinued, uh, AB, I've managed to get it just in time. So yeah, but as I say, I think I think the uh, what they do have um, in these uh, in the shops can depend sometimes. Yeah, you've had the white moose one, did you say, Mark? Yeah, sounds um, yeah better. Than you've, I think it sounded better than it was, right? I mean, that is my worry about some of these. I think the um, I think these moose ones, the orange one, sounds really nice, but I think I'm a bit worried about them generally because I do. I do find that the sort of moosey centers for me are a, a, a bit hit and miss. Sometimes it's a bit too sickly, really. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Mark. Glad you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. Yes. Um. Yeah. So yeah. Basically, yeah. It's one of those where yeah. I just just have to get the um. Yeah. Sort of get in this room. Uh, just the review on closed. Well, not. I've left the door open today because it's a bit a bit, bit warm. So I had to get some air circulate. Um. But yeah. Just um. Yeah, what do you people think about that? Some YouTube channels have music on in the background. Um, I don't know if I'd have it now, but like, you know, just not, not as in like me just playing Michael Jackson or something. I mean, like you just have little sort of background music for my reviews and stuff. I mean, would that be something anyone would be interested in? I always find it might be a bit out of place, really, but, um, you know, yeah. Yeah, they do, yes, yeah, just short for Roberto, basically, yes. <laughs> Yeah, see, yeah, so some people, yeah, some people, yeah, just one of those, yeah. <laughs> Feel free to call me Rob, Roberto, Chocolo, Choc, 
Yeah, whatever you fancy. <laughs> yeah, so speaking of the uh, other ones, I got the chili ones. I got, um, yeah, mint dark chocolate as well. So there we go, yeah, there we go. I guess Rob sounds a bit more, well, Roberto's a, 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 a normal name. I guess Rob just, just easy off the tongue, isn't it, I guess. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so there you go, mints as well. So it's got another one, so five individual wrap bars as well. Um, yeah, what percentage dark chocolate is it? Does it say? It doesn't say on this one, which is a bit odd. Well, it doesn't say as prominently. 52% um, minimum, so not quite as um, strong as the one, which is 85%. So a bit of a, a bit of a weaker chocolate, I think you'd say. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, this is it. This way it's just easy to say, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> ah, that's the songs and stuff like that. I don't, yeah, I don't know actually. I know there are some, I've heard some on multiple channels and stuff, yeah. And there must be some, there must be a repository somewhere. I've been meaning to look for it really. And um, But yeah, you're right, there are just some generic songs that you do hear in different places, depending on what the situation is, like a comedy bit or something. Um, I'm assuming you pay. I'm assuming it's a subscription service, and you basically pay ten pounds a month for something, and you get access to whatever's there. I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah. So, yeah, and I think it's the same with sound effects and graphics and all sorts like that. You know. There we go. We've got um, orange and almond. So you know, I was mentioning before about the um, was it JD Gross? Whatever it's called, Gross. Um, I mean, orange, orange and almond. Yes, yeah, so this is where I saw it as well. So, <laughs> so they are kind of copying each other there. Uh, is it the same percent chocolate as well? No, what does it say? Dark chocolate, fifty-six percent. There's fifty-two percent in the Mosa Roth, um, and fifty-six in the uh, JD Gross. So they're all gross. So they're not the same. So that's interesting. Uh, you could have assumed that they would have just been the same, um, but they're not. <laughs> so that's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Adam, how are you doing? Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Glad you could make it. Yes. And. Uh, yeah, so sometimes I felt, I felt a bit bad. I think you arrived just towards the end last time, but I'm um, glad you. Yes, glad that's not the case this time. So good to see you. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if I'll be able to get through all this. I've got quite a lot here to do, and uh, I did get um, a couple of um, LD equivalents of ones we've seen. I didn't see many of their big taste bars. Um, but yeah, you're doing okay, Adam. By the way, I got to say, great to see you. I didn't. And yeah, I'm assuming they've got the other ones, the Oreo ones and the other ones. Um, but I only saw a couple. I only got a couple, uh, which was the hazelnut one. Um, so yeah, it's like a 300 gram bar, same size as the other ones. This is the one I'm not a big fan of, really, um, generally, and um, it just, just I didn't really enjoy the, you know, I think the little one, anyway, it might be all different, of course, but I don't think I'm a fan of the milk or not the Cadbury one for sure. I'm um, just not a big fan of whole hazelnuts, and I didn't think the hazelnut cream was very great either. Um, but I did find one that actually I did did grow on me, and know where Joe was uh, a big fan of this one, well, not a fan of the size of it, which is just a peanut one. Um, Peanut Crisp Mighty Bites, yeah. And I found this was actually very nice, this one. I actually quite enjoyed this one. I gave it a 3 out of 5 from Lidl. This is the Lidl version I'm talking about. <clears throat> um, but I think, um, yeah, I think this one, I, but when I had it afterwards, I, I think I would have bumped it up to a 3.5, so I'm excited about that one. I just, just find it, I don't know, peanuts have grown on me a bit more lately, so yeah, it's one of those. Um, yeah, not too bad at all. Oh, Food Review UK recommender. See, how did they recommend? Um, yeah, that's an interesting one. I've always heard people talk about Food Review UK. I'm never sure what to do about this kind of thing because you can you can put links on channels um, to other channels, basically, in your in your YouTube channel. But I just, I'm never sure whether it's, what, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to do that, really. But yeah, you know, it's one of those, isn't it? But yes, how did it work, that Food Review UK? Did they themselves recommend me or was it just like one of the, when you're watching their videos, it recommended at the side? Is that how it did it? But glad you came anyway. Good to see you. Yes, good to see you. Yeah, yeah. I'm in. I'm in the UK. Yes, Northwest Manchester, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and I am. How are you doing? Great to see you. Yes, I recommend it. So that's good. That's good in a way. That's good in a way. I know. I think Scotty found me from. Um, I think from uh, Maverick Baking, didn't you, Scotty? I think you were saying. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, I know. Um, I know a lot of people do watch Food Review UK as well. I think he's got. I think he's most probably the most popular one I've seen because he's got about thirty thousand subscribers. I think um, something like that. Um, yeah. Oh, good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, I'm not too bad as well, Hammy. Yeah, a bit warm today though. It's um, my house is very very hot. 
um, basically. <laughs> About 28 degrees or something, I think it's been. 27, 28. It's been hotter, though. So I'm just a bit worried, obviously, um, doing reviews, uh, handling the chocolate might be difficult. But yeah, yeah. So how's it where you are? Is it quite warm where you are as well? Hopefully you're keeping cool. But yeah, I've also got these ones from Dairy. This is the Dairy Fine range. Giant buttons, yes. I thought I'd get those. Well, so obviously, I don't know if you could say these are knockoffs, really. But um, it's just chocolate buttons, isn't it? But obviously, Cadbury do do chocolate buttons. It's under their Dairy Fine range. I quite like the Dairy Fine range, actually, I must say. I think I've been quite impressed with that so far. Hmm. Rainforest lights on there as well, somewhere. There. Yeah, it's not too bad. So quite excited about those ones. Obviously, just milk chocolate, really. But um, milk chocolate buttons says on the back. <laughs> but I did notice there's a couple of others as well. So they did do a new white chocolate one as well. Yes, it says new on it, so I'm assuming it's new. Um, <laughs> that's some reseal me. It says there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Can you imagine? Yeah. Yeah. They do look very nice, actually. I'm quite in intrigued to see how the white chocolate fares. The uh, the most rough white chocolate, as I say, has that sort of Lindor, well, what could be Lindor scent in it. So I'm quite interested to see what just normal white chocolate tastes like from them. Should be an interesting one. Yeah, typical fair way. It's half empty, of course. I do like the way they go crazy with the barcodes in this place. They just have a mass, rather than a small one, they just have a massive one. Um, sometimes r around the whole wrapper and things like that, you know. <laughs> it's more useful as well, I must say. And, but then one I did find, similar, reminiscent sort of, of um, I think the Dame McCarroll ones, or maybe even the Carousel ones that they do, I forgot what called now, pinwheel ones in um, from Asda, but they've done these ones, caramel scented, uh, scented ones as well. Look at that. Ah, Southport, I see. Ah, ah, I see. Oh, you're Scotland as well, are you? Oh, good, good to hear, Mark. Yeah, lots of um, Scottish fans, you know. Scotty's from Scotland, and Alan's from Scotland. Um, Luke as well. Yeah, wow. Well. Yeah, yeah, so I see, yeah. We basically make, yes. <laughs> they certainly do, they certainly do, Adam. They've got no um, runoff points either at the moment. I don't know if they ever did. I don't know what they've done. So there's no real runoff point either, you know, for the stuff to collect. They just basically have a little, you've just got to grab it basically, because otherwise it'll just pile up. And see, they're kind of you know, rushing very quickly. And then they have like a, a strange um, shelf. I think they call it like, you know, please put your stuff or in the bags on the packing shelf or something. I don't I don't it seems a weird concept to me. I don't quite understand it, but they, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you're meant to get things from there, but yeah. Um a cute airport, I see. <laughs> yeah, I must say I'm not there's something weird about Aldi and Lidl. I don't want to sound snobbery snobbish or oh, snobby, it's like a snob or whatever the word is. Um I do find that the the this has a very odd feel to it. So I don't know what it is. Things are just organised a bit weird. They don't seem to have things the way I like I'm used to getting them. It could just be because I don't often you know, they just I've just never really been that often. Um because the supermarket's closer that I go to, you know, and um yeah, and they've they've always done the job really. I just I've had I just had trouble when I just wanted certain things, like an individual carrot or something. I've not I had to buy twenty if I went to Aldi or something like that. And and things are just all over the place, you know, and um yeah, I've just had trouble, so I'm never a big fan of it. And as I say, it seems a bit weird when you get to the checkouts, but um, yeah. Straight into a bag, yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's the way for I think you've just got to know what you're doing, haven't you, really? I just, yeah. I mean, I did have my own bag with me, um, you know. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I'm a big rugby fan, Mark, I see, yes. I must admit, I'm not much of a sporty person, I must say. You know, I do follow some sports, um, yeah. But I'm not. I've I'm, I'm no idea about much of them. Football's probably the one I watch, follow. I do follow a lot of tennis now, actually. Conversely, um, strangely enough, I don't know why. But um, yeah, Aldi Trump's Lidl. Yeah, Lidl does have a nice. Was it Lidl? There's one of them that does have a quite a nice bakery. Yeah, you go in and they've got lots of. Um, I don't know which one. I'm assuming probably is Lidl from what you've said, AB. Um, but they do have like a nice. Yeah, they, they, it looks very tempting actually. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it, Scott? It is one of those, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it is one of those. <laughs> Andrew, yeah, I'm glad you could make it, yes. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, not yet, not yet. We've done, you've missed all the Mosa Roth stuff, so we did do a couple of things. Um, and some JD Gross stuff as well. But I might do, you know, basically, depending on what um, live review wins, of course, I will be doing them if uh, if it's Aldi or Lidl or whatever. So, yeah, so I do have a couple of them. Yeah. Only a few Aldi's have the bakery. Yeah, I think the one I did have the bakery. It was quite nice, actually, you know. Um, I think it was Aldi, anyway. I'm sure it was Aldi, but I can't quite recall now. 
It might be no, it might be little actually, but I think he, I think both do have them. But I did notice one of them stood out, and I think it was the little one, like AB said. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, see, no, no Gallagher. <laughs> yeah, there's what well, well, could have been. You know, yeah, could have. Been, you never know. You never know. I suppose, but I guess most people would just think it's a lookalike, wouldn't they? If it was the real one, yeah. There's White Moose, yes. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think I think um, Mark was saying he was a bit unsure about them, so they didn't look as they weren't as nice as they look. So we'll see. I'll be excited to try them. Excited to try them. I think the truffle one looks a bit more mundane, but the orange one sounds very nice. Yeah, I know I've never been to a mini Aldi one though. But they've always only been to the big ones. Yeah, I see. Hmm. Yeah, my favorite bands. I've got my, my, I like depressing music too. So I like Radiohead and stuff like that. You know, that's probably my favorite band, I guess. But I'm just I'm more up into sort of specific songs generally. You know, um, yeah, yeah. It's one of those. I'm currently into um, keep listening to a song by what's his face? I've got his name now. Um, like a country singer. I forgot his name. Uh, songs. The song he did was um, called Harvest Moon. Anyway, so you probably know it. Um, what's he called? Is it Nick somebody? I remember now, yeah. But there's a cover version that some people have done as well. Yeah, Neil Young, that's it. Yes, that's it, Andrew. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and there's a cover that some of like a uh, lady's done online with a couple of people that they and it's really good actually. What's she called? Um Raina Um Raina Dell. Oh my me my memory is just what's going on? I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> Raina Dell Sid, there we go. It's just this um just a girl who does a YouTube channel, but she has a, does a few covers. And she's done a really good cover of that song, actually. It's a really good cover. Yeah. Yeah, I remember actually Andrew, you did um had your own YouTube channel, didn't you, where you did songs and stuff. I do remember that, yeah. Yeah. Chocolate uh chocolate watch band, my <laughs> fingers channel. <laughs> no, it's not her, Andrew. No, it's not a famous person. It's just um it's just someone she just that's just she's just um well, I'd say she she's got quite a few subscribers to be honest with you. She's doing pretty well. Um but yeah, she's you know, yeah, not um, not big like that. Which is cool, yeah, it's called, um, yeah, Reina del Cid, basically. I think her guitar is called Cid. So Reina means queen in Spanish, so queen of, queen of, queen of her guitar, essentially, is the gist of it. But they're doing quite good, I'll say, if you watch their cover of Neil, that the Harvest Moon, it's really nice if you like that song. Yeah, so, hmm. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't, yeah, sorry, yeah, I, I, I didn't, uh, yeah, sorry, Luke, I didn't, I didn't mention that. I just, <laughs> should have done it, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, it's got, um, but I knew who he meant. I knew who he meant. <laughs> yeah, see. The Saturdays, honestly. Yeah, dear me. <laughs> I do quite like some heavy stuff. Maybe not fresh metal. But I do quite I like all sorts of really. Yeah, I'm not really specific to a genre generally. But uh, obviously there's some things I'm not just not usually a fan of. But I do quite like a lot of different stuff. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. Yeah, I did have a friend who was in um, a couple of friends have been in bands and stuff, and they've been doing quite a lot. One was in quite a heavy band and stuff. Got me into quite a few different bands, you know. Um, you know, back in the day, you know, like Rage Against Machine and Corn and stuff like that. I quite like, I quite like them actually. Yeah, and the guy who did the the theme tune for my channel's have always been in bands and stuff like that. You know, he did he does his own. As I say, he did it all himself. You know, so he just did it off the top of his head one day. Yeah, so. <laughs> my cutter was just a raw. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. It can be a bit much. It can be a bit much. Yeah, it can be a bit much. I think I think I think I agree with you there. So yes, yeah, so I've got these what knockoff M and M's as well. Chockums. <laughs> these are peanut ones. Great to share. Apparently, very fine. So I found these ones as well in Aldi. So um, yeah, got these to go for as well. It's looking interesting one. Um, so these are the peanut ones. So yeah, you'd think there would be just more. And they've got a milk chocolate one as well. So you can see the different shapes. So um. We've got plenty, you know, plenty to do here. I don't, I mean, you know, there's going to be about at least six parts to these Aldi ones, I think. Um, <laughs> the other ones I might revisit as well. Like I might go back to Morrison's to get more stuff. Go back to, you know, get an Asda one going. Um, go back to Tesco. There's loads of stuff there, really. But there's plenty to go on. And, then, and you also have the best ones, I reckon. Or the, at least as far as M&Ms are concerned. Crispy ones as well. Yeah, so they've got crispy ones. Yes, there you go, you see, yes, I, I know no one's mentioned these, so I don't know if anyone's not noticed them before, but yes, they do have a knockoff M&M's as well, yeah. So I did notice though, a bit of a surprise one. <laughs> don't know if any good or not, of course, but um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit of a surprise there. <laughs> got some last stuff as well, last few things, what have I got? Um, yeah, so I've got um, 
So you know they do they do knock off air ones. I think Morrison's and um Lidl do them as well, the knock off air ones. They've got like the bubbly, the dairy fine bubbly range as well. <laughs> you know, get any peace, I see. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, never mind. Well, hopefully you find peace in this channel and uh, enjoy watching it. Hopefully it's relaxing, Mark. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> Dairy fine bubbly. So yeah, vanilla. So it's vanilla as well. So it's not actually... Hmm. Has it got white chocolate? I assume it's white chocolate. Milk chocolate with an aerated white bourbon vanilla flavour. Does it say bourbon, does it say? White bourbon vanilla flavour. So it's not actually white chocolate then. The milk chocolate, you see there's no white chocolate on the description. Hmm, interesting one. You would have said it was um, white chocolate, but it isn't. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting, that one. Yeah, see? <laughs> Honestly, I? <laughs> I didn't read the... <laughs> I misread your um, statement there, Scotty. I thought you were asking something else then. But <laughs> I've got the milk one as well. Um... I know, I must say, um, I must say, actually, uh, Mark, I was thinking you were hoping for some peace and then your girlfriend had got in touch. I thought that's what you had said, so I was... <laughs> oh, dear. Well, you know, yeah, don't worry. When I'm sure at some point yeah, you'll, you'll find someone, so don't worry. Yeah, honestly, we enjoy the free time while you have it, I think. That's the gist of it and the peace. <laughs> no offence to me. No offence to keep you if she's watching. <laughs> there we go, yes. They're bubbly. Well, no, I think by the sounds of it, though, men have been driving her mad, so um, maybe she swings around the cats. <laughs> but there you go, yeah, so bubbly one. So I'm assuming this contains milk chocolate. It does say milk on it, so yeah. Yeah, milk chocolate. It's unusual, though, isn't it? But yeah, as I say, a lot of these white chocolates and things sometimes aren't white chocolate, and you'd think they were, especially when Aero is concerned. Um, you know, I think a lot of the time it isn't actually white chocolate with Aero. But we do have an orange one as well. But no mint one. I didn't catch a mint one. So yeah, obviously Aero does do mint. Uh, I think in the um, little one as well, I didn't see um, a mint one either. So interesting one. Just another person who um, yeah views the channel as well. Yes, <laughs> I mean, she was here earlier, but she's disappeared now. I think so. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, which might still be listening. So just in case. So just <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, we got um, this. Sort of, sort of, I only got one of these actually. I think. Oh, no, I got two. A couple of um. Yeah, dairy fine ones as well. Again, sort of dark chocolate, milk chocolate. I don't know. These are sort of like so they have um could just be the same bar, just repackaged. I mean about 100 grams. <laughs> I mean, it could really just be the same bar. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check that. Um yeah, so we've got the dairy fine sort of I guess it's no added sugar version actually, so they probably aren't the same. 80% less sugar, so I've got those as well. Um yeah, you can see, I don't know, if you feel a bit like this. A bit, a bit too similar, sort of. Obviously, one's no added sugar. So, in fact, yeah, yeah, I thought, yeah. So, one's no added sugar. Um, yes. <laughs> Honestly, got Andrew. Yes. Well, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting one. There. There's no added sugar. I imagine probably not the best chocolate, no added sugar, but it's there. And um, they've got shocker as well. It's another range they do as well at Aldi. This, I don't know if this is their middle tier. I don't know what the difference is. Um, is this is this one rung below the Moser Roth stuff? Um, but yes, yeah, got smooth and silky. So it looks like it's a very chunky bar. This one. So these ones are quite flat bars generally, um, other than maybe the uh, ones with the truffle in the middle, whatever it is. But yeah, this looks um, quite a chunky one, has to be said. Similar sort of colour packaging to the little chocolate truffle they did as well. Um, 50 grams, 200 grams. Yes, this one's a bit heavier. These look to be like individual bars. This one, it does say four times 37 grams. I'm not, well, it might not be individual bars. Actually. Yeah, it does. It does say four wrap bars. Yeah, which I missed before. Because this is just a big block of chocolate. It's a very big block, actually. It's very nice. Yeah. The pretzel bar. Well, I didn't see that one. Could be. Um, is there chunky chocolate? Andrew? Is that right? Right. I see. Chocolate low for Roberta. Yes. <laughs> Honest to God, AP. <laughs> Oh dear, I mean, imagine after eating all this chocolate, I'll certainly need low, well, low somehow, you know. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, well, I didn't see the, oh, hang on, oh, did I? I didn't see, I've got the caramel one. I don't think I saw the pretzel one, so I'm going to have to, 
Well, I've got enough to keep me going for a few weeks. Um, we really have to jump back in and get it. Well, I saw the camel one anyway. Yeah, mm, I have to look out for that pretzel one. That's a shame. And it's, well, as you, as you said, sometimes you just don't seem to have them. I mean, I was I was looking. Well, you can see the amount of stuff I got. Um, so I did have a comprehensive look. Um, and then we got another set of. I feel like I've just got so many in just dark chocolates and milk chocolates. So the, the regular dairy fine range. Um, yeah. It's just milk chocolate this time. So we got the. So we got three sort of cans. Got there. So the essentials one. <laughs> uh, and the dairy fine one here, regular one. And then the no added sugar one as well. So it could possibly compare them. Very difficult though. There's so much here. I mean, difficult. You know, difficult to do it. The red velvet brownies. I see. Yeah, I've, I've missed all these. You know, so I've not got. You know, I need to. Are they at the bakery section? A B. They sound very nice. I need to. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get all these really. Yeah, I see. Is that the guy, Michael? Is it that who it is? Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, so dark chocolate dairy fine. So there we go. Hmm, that's um, dark chocolate version as well. So plenty of stuff there, plenty of stuff. I do have some other things as well. I don't know whether to... I might leave them for next time, really, rather than starting a new batch. <laughs> Honestly, I might have more stuff by then. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, so that's basically, yeah. I thought I might have done do more than um, than just the the Aldi and uh, Lidl stuff. But to be honest with you, yeah, there's so much there that um, yeah, done quite a few there. So we've done not not too bad there, not too bad. Fifty percent cocoa. Which one's that? Sorry, the uh, which one's that? Sorry, Andrew. The um, the bar. I've lost it now. Where have I put it? <laughs> there it is. Is that the um, is that the dark or the milk chocolate one? The dark one. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. Yes. You talk about the dark chocolate one. Let's see if it's there. Yeah, fifty percent minimum. Yes. <laughs> Are they always fifty percent? So I don't want the milk chocolate uh, cocoa solids. Is twenty seven percent minimum. Milk solids twenty three percent minimum. Yeah, see. <laughs> yeah, so they always have the same thing, do they? Yeah, see. Yeah. Do you like those red velvet brownies? They sound nice, but I think red velvet, to be honest with you, is a is is it, it looks nice, but it's just it's just red sponge, isn't it? You know. <laughs> but they look very nice. I mean, it depends what's in them to make them nice, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. They sound they sound like a lot of nice stuff there, though. I definitely like to. Um, yeah. Hmm. Just too much. You can see now. I mean, it's going to take me weeks to get through all this stuff if I can get through it. You know. Um, it's going to take a long time. Yeah, salted caramel one as well. Brown, it sounds very nice. Sound very nice. Yeah, always around that Italian. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, uh, yeah. interesting though. I guess, yeah, one of those, isn't it, I guess. Looking forward to tasting these. There's lots of other stuff. I'll say I did get a few other things, but I probably won't go over them tonight. So I think I'll, uh, yeah, could maybe leave them for next week, I think. I might get some more stuff in next week. Got to do some more reviews as well, of course. Just difficult as at the moment with, um, with the heat, you know, but yeah, so we'll see. See how it goes, I guess. <laughs> yeah, as I say, there's the Discord chat, everyone, by the way. I'm sure, I think a lot of you have already been there. But if you do think of anything that you'd like, you know, you, you know, want me to sort of look into whatever, there is um, links in the description for it. It's an application you'll get on your phone or whatever, but uh, it's pretty straightforward, you know. Um, so if you have any ideas of things you want me to be or look out for in Aldi, just, as I say, post in there. I think there's like um, a sort of um, a request section for reviews and stuff. So, yeah, obviously, because there's so much stuff, I can easily forget things and stuff like that. It's easy to have them there. At least I can reference them then. So, mm. you can even put pictures as well. So, um, yeah. Sometimes just now the chocolate is looking at the wrapper. See? <laughs> well, they say don't judge a book by its cover, but I do know what you mean. I do know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see. I see, honestly. Well, <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, well, as well, not too bad. It's nice you can go into places, though, and do things like that nowadays, isn't it, Mark? You know, it's been a while since we could do it, so glad you've been taking advantage and having a good time. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah, no, great that you could meet as well. Say, so, well, you know, maybe at some point we could do some big meet or whatever. Who knows? Maybe one day. You never know. You never know. <laughs> oh, dear. But, yeah. Right, well, guys, as I say, I think that's probably the end of uh, Stash Watch episode nine. Done a good, um, yeah, good, good few things there. So hopefully, 
As I say, check out the um, the communities tab on the channel. Um, it does have a sort of poll for the weekend for what, or maybe next weekend as it could be if it's too hot this weekend, but we'll see. Um, for what um, supermarkets I'm going to review or what I'm going to do. So check that out if you've not uh, checked it out already. Um, if you want notifications to when I do those, um, click the bell icon on the homepage as well. We'll give you a notification for any polls and stuff that I do and other things, of course, but um, at least you can see them then. Um, yeah, yeah. Fingers crossed. I would like to do it. I would like to do it, but we'll see what the we'll see what the. Well, I think it's winning at the moment. Um, though, maybe. I think Morrison's was winning for a time actually. Surprisingly, I didn't wasn't expecting that. But um, but yeah, it looks like uh, Aldi's winning. But it's close. So yeah. So if you're not voted, your vote could cer certainly uh, make a difference. So yeah. So as I say, check it out. Check it out. Um, yeah. And as I say, check out the Discord chat as well because it's a great way to keep in touch and great way to keep chatting as well. Of course. So check it out. Links in the description. As I say. Um, yeah. I say lots of um, it's great, nice to wear. Uh, it's neck and neck now, is it? A B, right? Okay, great. It was it was um, I think Aldi was in the lead before, but yeah, right. Neck and neck, eh? All to play for. <laughs> interesting, though. Interesting. So more and more people keep voting every week. So that's good. Um, but yeah, as I say, great stuff, great stuff. But um, yeah, as I say, if you if you just make sure you click the bell icon on things, and if you need a notification of that, or check it out on the communities tab if you've not voted. Um, I say it's quite an interesting one, definitely, definitely for sure. Um, yeah, what else? As I say, yeah, join the Discord chat if you're not already. Great way, Discord server. Great way to uh, keep um, keep in touch with people, keep the community going. Great, lovely little set of people, as I say, that um, are in there. Scotty's regular in there, Andrew's in there a lot as well. AB sometimes pops in. Um, yeah, so, you know, a few of us as well. Myself, of course. <laughs> but yeah. Right, well, guys, well, thanks for joining. Great chat today. Great to chat to you all. Sorry, um, as I say, it's coming to an end, but um, as I say, the chat can continue in Discord, so the link's in the description, or it will be, if it's not in this one, it'll be in another one, uh, in one of my videos, but yeah, I think it is in the description, so check that out. Um, and hopefully I'll catch you on Saturday for the actual reviews as well, but as I say, check out the communities tab to vote on it, keep an eye on it. Um, you know, I'm nothing against you inviting friends to subscribe to the channel and vote as well. <laughs> if you want to take it that seriously, feel free. Um, but yeah, it's really been great to chat to you all. I hope you're having a good time and enjoying the summer, and uh, yes... Um, and happy that you're getting out and about as well. Good to chat to you, Mark, as well. Good to see you. Um, yeah, really is nice. And I don't know if Alan, if you're still there, but great to chat to you as well. And Jeff, if you're watching and catch up, good to see you as well. Yes, and um, yeah, who's the other gentleman that was in before? Adam as well, yes. Don't know if you're still there, Adam, but um, it was good to chat to you and good to see you. And I'm glad I caught you um, earlier on than at the end this time. So yeah, it was very, very nice to see you and have a bit of a chat with you. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, take care. I said there's a six-second delay or so, so I might have gone by the time, you know, you say something. So I do apologize, apologize for that, but, um, yeah, so hopefully I won't miss anything you say. But um, but have a good evening. Thanks for coming, as I say. It's been really great to chat to you. Check out the Discord chat. Um, yeah, and um, hopefully I'll see you on, um, yeah, Saturday. I'll say I'll hopefully be doing um, a June update soon as well. And also, um, this, this Friday, there should be a look-back video as well, looking back on what I reviewed a year and five years ago. So check that out as well. And next week... There should be the premiere back as well. <laughs> should be a tier list, I think, but we'll see what it is. <laughs> what the tier list is about. All right, guys, take care. Thanks again. Great to chat to you all. Have a lovely evening, and I'll see you uh, hopefully on Saturday. <laughs> take care. Bye for now. See ya. <laughs> Bye.